Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're gonna leave and I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? And I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures. Yeah. I mean, obviously I'm a photography major. I can't see those pictures if I'm dead, Amanda. <laughs> of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? I'm gonna no, be Amanda. dead! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna die, so technically, yes, I guess. I I mean, about as okay I could be. <laughs> Can be at that point. A dog. Yeah. Amanda, why are we talking about dogs? I'm gonna die! Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Alright. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple needs. <laughs> well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. No, it's not! <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college. Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back in the door. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! I'm scared. The fuck? Oh, just do it! Yeah, it's just like my entire future, no big deal. She takes a deep right. breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. I mean, we have a letter opener, but okay. <laughs> I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth scanning the letter. What does it say? The admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Uh, we. Her face drops. No. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Uh. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. You know I'm still dying, right? Uh. <laughs> okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental, experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see your portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're Listen, lady. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. You, you, you're going to... Why do I feel like this is our regular conversation? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna become a star, kid. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's fine. Yeah, are you actually be. fine, or are you just saying that? This is normally our conversation, Wolfhead. <laughs> I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. <laughs> so. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have to have to have the play, the new place to yourself. Yeah, what what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I am secretly the mayor of this town. Got to attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. Hmm. <laughs> What would you do in this situation? I would say I am secretly the mayor of this town. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Amanda, I don't know how to break this to you, but my town needs me. You see, I'm actually Batman. I need to perform my mayoral duties. <laughs> my parents got shot in an alley, and ever since then, nothing was the same. <laughs> I must don my You were supposed to be Robin, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you ended up being female instead of male, so. 
We couldn't we couldn't find any of the guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I'm actually the Monopoly man. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're over. <laughs> I think you got the guy from Monopoly. I mean, he was a mayor he of something, mayor, right? right? I mean, he, he had a fucking monocle. It'll be pretty stupid <laughs> if you had a monocle and you weren't a mayor. He was not. <laughs> Shoka, are you there? No, oh, she's muted because something's going on on her end. So, okay. temporary I'm gonna... pause. I'm going to wait for her. I have some messages um, on Discord. Hold on, hold on, guys. Um, can you pause it for a second? Call me it's paused. And help her with something. Okay. Mm. I can just cut this part out of editing, I guess. That's fair. That is, if I even listen to the VOD at all. Yeah, that's true. If, yeah. you, if you do as you normally do and just go clip, 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 okay, it's all good. <laughs> and send it off. It's going to be like, you, you you stop it for some reason in the middle of the dead space. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, all right, end on dead space, start on the next dead space. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, and then this happens. What? don't know the characters so i don't know when the new character is gonna pop up me neither it's uh, like I've, so... I've seen I've, i haven't seen game grunts play this if they even played this and i've i know like jack played this a little bit but i i think mark also played this a little bit but i only watched like, i a remember little bit of jack it. playing it but i didn't watch the whole thing i mm. don't remember if mark played this I think Mark played. I remember it a bit. he talked about it. And then I don't remember if the Game Grumps actually played this or not. I think they did. I mean, they made game. the game. Or at least so published it. Like, yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at the fucking Steam page, the community content for Dream Daddy. There are a lot of edits. Picture edits, I should say. How much bang have you had, sir? Me? Yes. Uh, I've had two cans in total today. Alright, well, we're gonna have to place you under arrest. Okay, I'm back. I had to help my mom during her watch to her new phone. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, um, uh, did you press play again? Yeah, it's on your line. Okay, sorry. He was mm -hmm. not. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually, I'm actually going to go to bed. Go out and watch the game. I'm actually going to go to bed. That is the realest answer I can give. I'm wiped. Have fun with the, the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vegeta. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night pops. <laughs> <laughs> have you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad? No, I have not read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Well, that, that was a tip. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. I wake <laughs> up to the... I wake up... <laughs> I wake up to a text from an unknown number. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. 
Whoops, must have must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to go get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it, but it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go back to sleep. <laughs> I shoot a quick text to Craig to apologize for bailing on him and immediately fall back asleep. Oh man, how long was I out? What time is it? I look over at the clock. It's 3.55 p.m.? What? I have to be at the parent-teacher conference in five minutes. I jump out of bed, throw on the nearest clothes, and run out the door. Trust no one. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or room 108? I spotted you stand, standing at his locker. I approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vegeta's classroom is? Mega. The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavy lined eyes. Sir, you're looking pretty haggard. <laughs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vegeta. Oh, no. Have you tried the exit? <laughs> God damn it! Okay, wise guy. You, you gonna help me or not? <clears throat> Fine. Up to the stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I have the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk you sent me on a wild goose chase, and I don't even like geese. <laughs> I get back to where that low, I get back to where the low rent Gerald Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. When suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a third party to get to? Period. Period. Not party. <laughs> Damn it, I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna give him the Vegeta voice. I didn't know it was Mr. Bacon. Damn it, Hugo, it's gonna be Vegeta. It's still gonna be. Oh, fine, Mr. Vega. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Now I'm officially 10 minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Hmm. You <clears throat> Hold on. No, oh, God. It, Kakarot. You must be none. Damn it. He sounds kind of like... <laughs> 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 like Fuck. You must be none. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Uh, I'll just stick to that. <laughs> Mr. Vegeta lends, lends me in, and I take a seat in one of the comically small student desks in the back. I He's might too fancy to have the anger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Um. <coughs> yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he bows, where he blows into the crook of his elbow and makes a fart noise. The whole class erupts in, in laughter. Hmm. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for oh, the end fuck. of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for what? the door. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbooks. Nobody's listening. Or not, I guess. Mr. Vegeta turns to me and sighs. <sighs> Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Oh, no. Both, you know? Budget cuts. Right. Hmm. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. 
Vegeta. I'm sure I saw you in a cartoon. What was it called? <laughs> an, an anime or something? Like it's like a cartoon, but it's Japanese. Please call me Hugo. Hmm. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda is a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. Yeah, she likes to break things. <sighs> Mender has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Uh, we just moved. She's fine. She had a tendency to bottle things up. We just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. See if you see if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road, I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money she clearly deserves I'll make I'll bleh, I'll make sure <laughs> that, to talk to Amanda thanks for letting me know Vegeta hey. anytime on my way out I stop thinking for a moment I turn to Hugo hey Hugo hmm. yes they ever catch the rye <laughs> I don't think I don't think that happens in the it. book. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. Oh my god. No, never mind. I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force of positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with class. Yeah, Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. But maybe I can talk to her about about what's going on. Oh. I'm gonna wait for Snick to get back to continue. Okay. Are you back? Yeah. Okay, I gotta go back to for the a little bit now. <laughs> I pull I'm up to the pasta. So, uh, fucking linguini, spaghetti, uh, ragatoni, rotini, rotini. Let's go. <laughs> I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vegeta and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity cushions. Cushions. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about Mario Batali the whole time. That was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can you grab some can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Go to the mall food court. I don't know. It's like it's like <laughs> literally like we have food at home. It's like you know we, she doesn't want the fucking food at home. Let's go to the mall. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can't be a dad. Can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will so you buy me things? <laughs> I will buy. I will buy you a thing, singular. <laughs> Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short while. <laughs> We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, your dad, he could buck like a stallion. <laughs> God damn it. Not the, not the version of the beast, please, no. You know, some, sometimes when kids get older, they find that they have to keep <laughs> things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's also okay. But also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective because you know maybe the parents also 
have also dealt with similar <laughs> situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that your dad can buck like a stallion. Love you. <laughs> have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? What? Never mind. <laughs> Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegeta said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senior out, senioritis and all that. You liar! <laughs> I thought you liked Mr. Vegeta's class. It's fine. He's fine. Nothing is fine! <laughs> we pull up to a stoplight and, and I, I, Amanda, she's still, she's still texting. Just... I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma's, Emma R is going to that fancy school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that your guys aren't gonna going to the same school? Yep. Hmm. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's a, I don't think you'd get it. No, we're drifting apart. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm hip. I'm okay with the memes. <laughs> who are you, who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Do you have a boyfriend? Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yep. Do you like Noah? What? No. Dad. <laughs> Ugh. I can't believe you would. Liz, I haven't seen no. He's probably very handsome. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? You're talking in circles right now. Ugh. You said uh, you uh you uh at me like three <laughs> times. Gross. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just accent. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. He's my friend. Not, wiggy, wiggy, not, wiggy. Not in today's society. <laughs> okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess the conversation is over. To the mall, then. Why do I feel like this is how you'd, how you'd be a dad to someone? <laughs> I would just... <laughs> I would constantly be like, do you like them? And they'd be like, no. Just to make That's them... That's how you are with me and Logic, just so you know. You ask me all this all the time. Mm. Oh, God. What am, where's the game? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. We arrive at the mall... <laughs> A big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering, l lollering, loitering kids. Loitering. Let's get some. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you tell Lang me why? How dare you? <laughs> Language, Missy. Heck yeah. Better. <laughs> mm, better. <laughs> we approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Can we go with the third <laughs> option, please? <laughs> I extend my hand or would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos she takes my hand with a grin it would make me the happiest cheesiest girl alive I, I have the like... cheesiest daughter alive that's my daughter <laughs> my daughter is the cheesiest daughter alive <laughs> I'm so proud we order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange <laughs> cheese from a very un, un <clears throat> Unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat <laughs> and, a, and a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. 
but also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. I do that every day. <laughs> we enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, period. Yeah. Something's been bothering me for a while. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this. Yes. Yes, you're this, doing it. This hurts because I know what memes are. So to play a character that's like, hey, can you... <laughs> Explain what memes are to what the fuck am I 80 years old? <laughs> did I actually see like did I see Abraham Lincoln get shot in real time? Am I that old? <laughs> did I see a fish crawl? Me? Did I see a, a the fish meme lord to his Mimi daughter? <laughs> Can you please explain memes to me? I am a thousand years old. Sai. Wait, why did I say Sai? Which meme? All, all memes. I am. I am a dinosaur. I am a fossil. <laughs> you are so Man. ancient. You watched the dirt come to fruition. <laughs> Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Chat, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people. Get, they get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of us youth have already done the joke to death. Dad. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try in on a meme train and just based on how, for how long it takes to, to make them the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out so it just dates and it isn't funny. <laughs> oh shit what up no <laughs> no <laughs> no don't you fucking dat boy at me Oh shit, what up? It's that boy. He be rolling down the street. Dad. Dad, please. <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that goth store? You mean Hot Topic? Huh? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being an exact rep representation of the establishment? I don't know what store you're talking about. Hot Topic! <laughs> you you know the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard <laughs> against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? You know, Hot Topic! Dude, you gotta be more specific. Fucking Remember, hot, topic. hot Topic! Or Spencer's! <laughs> the one you threw up in that one time? Oh, that one. <laughs> it's Hot Topic. Oh, I never would have guessed. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing or behind her. Or it she could be Spencer's. <laughs> or it could be Spencer's. She makes a beeline for the back. Oh, no. Not in the back. <laughs> not in Spencer's, no. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You can still see the outline, kind of. Yeah, based on based on what's decorating the walls, it's definitely hot topic. Yeah, I'm so proud. Question mark. Speech. Amanda. Yeah. Speech, 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 speech. All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to com com commemorate an historic movement that would forever shape history, I guess. One, on a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda, and yeah, had too much blueberry, <laughs> blue raspberry slushy on an out outing to the mall. 
That, that that just makes me want the blue raspberry from Kulata. A uh, Kulata from Kulata from Dunkin' Donuts. What the fuck? <laughs> After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our r remains among our pas passions. Thank you. Positions. Positions. Amanda <laughs> Amanda's moved. She begins clapping, slow at first and faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. <laughs> oh, hey, chain wallets. <laughs> while, Amanda, while Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in, in a dead goth and beyond. Pursue the band t-shirts. Look at the ironic <sighs> clothes. I hate, I hate how they took Hot Topic and turned it into a Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I don't want to look at band t -shirt. That doesn't feel... I would do that, but this character wouldn't do it. I'm going to look at ironic mugs like a dad. I'm suddenly stricken by existential fear. There's only... there's If there's only one number one dad... Then why are there so many mugs here that say that? Yeah, logically that can't be correct. This whole time I thought I was the only one. If if I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking charts? You thought you were number one, but you were only number one in that household. You were actually number 486,582,265. No! I have work to do! <laughs> Take her up. Look, this is very important to me. What the fuck? Oh, no, I, I actually do need to use Regina for this one. Is that the dude from Castlevania? <laughs> He's Dracula. But I'm not using that voice. No, do Dracula voice. It would be perfect. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. Someone be the cashier. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> you want me to? Wait. Do you want Wait, me do I- am I the cashier? No, I was gonna say- What are y'all? <laughs> okay, fuck, fine, I'll be the cashier. I don't think he's the cashier, though. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Oh, my. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? <laughs> there are manager present. People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeeper. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man whirls <sighs> around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian-inspired or Ed Edwardian in nature. Amanda trots up to me with a, with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Uh, hey, Dad, John, 5,000... Don't call me that. You only call me that when you want things. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Whatever it is. Just yes. This is me whenever I go to Hot Topic, just so you know. Mm. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I I hand her a 20. 
So what's that guy's deal? I am the Zabak. <laughs> the cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. It was a girl! You voiced a girl! <laughs> okay, cool. That's Damien. He's in here. Even though I'm a girl, I'm going to speak in this normal speaking voice. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. Oh my gosh. She hands Amanda her bag, and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. 